this video we hear from Charlotte who's a mum to seven year old Adam who has autism and other complex needs which makes church pretty impossible for her. She offers us some hard hitting truths and some really practical advice that we can all take. So keep watching uh, for your free printable resource. Charlotte, thanks for agreeing to be interviewed. Uh, do you want to just tell our viewers uh, who you are and why we might be having this conversation? Okay, my name is Charlotte Cheshire. I'm a, just finishing my curacy in the Diocese of Litchfield and I am the parent of a child with really very significant additional needs. He has autism, he's okay. hearing impaired, visually impaired, asthmatic and has a host of behavioural problems as a result. I've met Adam, he's very lovely um, <laughs> and um, I've also seen the struggles in, in, in Adam being in church. So yeah. what's it like taking Adam to church? It's almost impossible to take Adam to church, unfortunately. Why? We do it occasionally, mm -hmm. but it is a complete sensory overload for him. He can be pretty but, loud, can he? Oh, yes. He can get really upset as he well. He can be very loud, and unfortunately, he can also be very abusive. Uh, just yesterday, we brought him to my final curacy service, and I oh, got that Charlotte. as a result. You know, that, that's just the reality yeah. of what we live with. Give us a steer. What are some of the things that we could do that would make it easier for parents mm -hmm. and children uh, with your situation with Adam to be able to come and be part of our churches? I would say three main things that would be very, very easy to do. Wow, we want one, easy. <laughs> one, at the beginning of the service, yeah. when we encourage people, it's okay to remain seated necessarily then to stand, as many church leaders do. Yeah, I say, uh, please stand if you're comfortably able, yes. but that doesn't accommodate exactly. Adam. So the simple thing for a church leader, say it's okay if you need to move around the building. Great. Simple as that is permission. That would help lots of people, not just uh, yeah. children like Adam, but it, it might would. help other people with various needs. Yeah. Uh, parishioners who find sitting difficult because of exactly. back pain, for example. Another simple thing that would take a little bit of preparation, but is eminently possible, is to have available pictures or symbols. Okay. Because for a person with autism, they don't necessarily understand the spoken word. Okay. But if you show them a picture, mm -hmm. it's easier to understand. The exactly. technical term for them is PEX cards. It's about having pictures that can translate the spoken word. Okay. So, so he knows what's happening. Yeah. It helps him to be calmer yeah. and be able to participate. Yeah. Okay. But perhaps a simpler, more average, church-friendly one would be a picture line that says, now we sing, mm -hmm. then we pray, then we sit. You know, of just translating those simple concepts into pictures. Because I know you're, you're helping me. We're going to produce some of these. If you'd like to order some of these, um, please do just be in touch. Direct message me and um, we'll send you a free pack of these. Some of the other things that you can do are to encourage the other members of the church mm -hmm. to know that if a child is being disruptive, it doesn't necessarily mean they're being naughty. No. They might be making a noise, running around, being at the front, because actually they don't understand what it means to sit down in a pew. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge amount that just reduces stress for parents if yeah. the congregation can tolerate. You know, we know that child has autism. So just making that part of the kind of thing we talk about over coffee, even. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just being part of the culture. Yeah. Equally being aware that a person with autism, if you say hello, mm -hmm. they're not necessarily going to reply. Yeah. They're not necessarily going to look at you to make eye contact because mm -hmm. that might be very painful for them. Mm. If you can learn some basic Makaton signs, hello mm -hmm. can be as simple as that. Yeah. Be prepared to get down to their level and to say hello. Don't take it personally if they don't reply or if they just no. run away. Most people would <coughs> mainly ignore someone mm -hmm. uh, with any sort of disability yeah. for fear mm -hmm. of offending. Yeah. Um, Much better to say hello and to try. Yeah. Because in, in my experience at least, even if the child doesn't respond, mm -hmm. I'd rather someone made the effort Great. than just completely ignored him and therefore excluded us. Great. Great. Much, much better. And children with autism, how, uh, that, same as every other child, vary. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um, and so Future. I'm on a steep learning, learning curve with this and mm -hmm. came across some really good resources that can help us to learn a bit more about what it might mean to be on the autistic spectrum. Um, I'll post a link to those uh, resources um, that are specifically for church and there's an increasing okay. volume of those where we can really learn from the experience of people who, who, who live 
with autism, either in their own family or, or themselves. Yeah. So that church really is for everybody. Yes. Charlotte, thanks for your help. You're um, and um, I, I hope you're about to move, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm about to move up to Yorkshire. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna miss you yes. and um, we wish you and Adam really well, but really blessed that you've been able to share your learning so that Thank we can you. make our churches a more hospitable place for that everybody. Would be great. Thanks. You're welcome.